You're here because you want to know how to make a great wrestling game, right? The ultimate wrestling game. Well, there's a lot of things to talk about. And if you see my reboot series, then you're likely to know some of the things that I'm going to suggest. But there's a lot more to go through and I'm limiting myself to 10 things on this list. If you like what you hear, don't forget to like and subscribe. It is completely free so you can join me for more wrestling content on the channel. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. Number 10, GM mode. Okay, I'm going to start with the obvious GM mode. How could it not be? Uh, GM mode has been long requested by the community. I made a reboot on it and it seems that a lot of you actually agree with me. So when it comes to this sort of thing, uh, a rebooted GM mode is something that we 100% need. I'm not saying we go back to the modes of old because those modes lacked a lot of depth. They weren't as good as they could be. They could have been so much more, but instead, uh, the prospect of having something like that back in, not really my liking. So you guys followed my reboot for GM mode, you liked it, you hit the likes up button so many times I've never seen it so much in a video. So I was very happy to see that you guys actually agreed with me on that. This is a mode that I would say has to be completely separate from universe. And the reason for that is because it's more of a challenge mode. It's not a sandbox mode. It's not for you to sit there and play with that. This is a mode where you have to try and achieve the best booking that you can as the GM of your brand. Whether that be you playing an AEW game or whether you're playing the wrestling code or whether you're playing WWE 2K, GM mode is something that should be separate and a challenge for you, much like my career. Universe mode. I mentioned it earlier and it's another obvious one. Uh, universe mode has been the backbone of WWE games since what SmackDown 2011 when it was first introduced. Uh, it's what people like Delzinski, Murphs, and many others use to create content for their channels. And does it have its flaws? Of course, it's got a lot of flaws. It's got a lot of things that are actually wrong with this mood. Um, the depth is, is lacking once again. Uh, but once again, I made a reboot for that as well. And for all its current features, it really only feels like you're scratching the surface of a true sandbox mode. So, Universe Mode is another key to unlocking the ultimate wrestling game. Whoever it is that makes it has really got to look at some of these things that I've decided to put in. Um, if you can achieve the potential of being able to book anything in a mode where you can do anything, where you're not a GM, but you're actually the Vince McMahon or the Tony Khan of that brand, uh, you're going to be massively onto something. Unified Community Creations. It, it, okay, it's an obvious one. It's something that people have requested, but I'm going to say it as well. This 100% needs to be in the ultimate wrestling game. Uh, community Creations, segregated by hardware you choose to play on, has long been an issue. And the main reason for that is because you get fantastic, talented community creators. Like Iconic 2K, you get Diffract, You've got Big Righteous who does the move sets out there. You've got so many people on both sides that are so talented. Really, why shouldn't we have a unified community creations? A cross-platform community creations where you're not only able to get all of the community creations from all of the best core makers, all of the best superstar makers, all the best wrestlers that you're able to get in the game but where they're actually able to collaborate with each other as well. You're looking at a lot of awesome things that can happen if you have a unified community creations list. I'm just saying the ultimate wrestling game would have the ability to get everybody's creations put in one giant pot. Producer mode. This is something that I've long been thinking about and it is actually a reboot that's in the works. Producer mode is an improvement 
on the highlight reel. Now, you can call it Kevin Dunn mode if you want, uh, but let me give you a brief overview of how this would actually work. So imagine you just had the most brutal, intense match in a game of WWE 2K or any other wrestling game. It doesn't matter which one it is, okay? Whether it's AEW that's gonna be produced by Ukes or the wrestling code, you can then save your entire match replay and you can go into this producer mode. And in this producer mode, you can cut, you can snip, you can change camera cuts, you can do everything that the producer truck in WWE can do out the back. You can make things go in slow motion, you can have the replays, it basically gives you a full production suite for you to craft something. Now, I'm just saying this out here because having these tools and being able to turn it into a full match presentation like <laughs> you would see on TV would be amazing. And it would give creators like Den Cox, Brandon Does Everything, all of the guys out the back who you make all the wrestling content for their universe modes, anybody who wants to generally tell a story, having those tools is an amazing thought because there's so much you could do with them. Gameplay reboot. Now, I've done this too, it's another reboot, okay. It's not so much I'm talking about my reboot, but just generally a gameplay reboot in general. I'm expecting this to happen in WWE 2K22. Um, probably not the way I bottled it, to be honest. It hasn't really changed, um, and I think that's because of the way that the engine was made and to accommodate as many situations and you know moves into the move sets as you can possibly do because let's face it superstars and wrestlers like have a lot of moves it's kind of incredible so that doesn't mean there isn't a lot of room for improvement because there is there's a lot of things that we need to get done uh, even things like better tired animations having new moves reversal to reversal reversal to finisher and, and so much more can be added i'm really looking forward to seeing what visual concepts comes up with for wwe 2k22 and what sort of thing aew and the wrestling code are really going to put into their games as well whether they're going to go for more simulation more arcade or a combination of the two and how that's going to vary but this is something that we really need in these games, something to feel different. Familiar maybe, but different. New and returning match types. Of course, this was gonna come up, okay? WWE has featured so many match types over the years, but not all of them have ever made it into WWE games. Now, even recently, we've had ambulance matches, we've had dumpster matches, but neither made it into WWE 2K20, despite being in older games, using the same engine. So, of course, this year for WWE 2K22, I'd expect some notable appearances, such as special guest referee, I Quit match, Buried Alive, Fight Pit from NXT would be very interesting to see in there, possibly Raw Underground, which is another take from, if you've seen it, Bloodsport, and of course, War Games. Now, not every wrestling game is going to be able to have a War Games match in it. I get that. But with some in-game match editors, we could see this match being in the debut game this year, possibly being in other games as well, probably not being called War Games. But uh, everybody's been clamoring for this for years. Um, and it would really push the current gen consoles to their max, having a characters in the ring all at once causing absolute hell i would really look forward to seeing this because let's face it two rings eight characters and all the chaos that can happen in a war games match there's just there's so many things it would be incredible over the top gameplay a war games match and all of these other match types have got to be in the next ultimate wrestling game an RPG simulation career mode. Yeah, I've said this before in my, my career reboot. Fine, right? It's not our story. It's a linear my career story that's made for somebody else. It's a story that's been told through the vessel of your character that you made, that you have put all your time into, that then just goes end up slipping on a tray and is then called Trey for the entirety of his story. Why? This, no, 
bad, okay? The My careers and any career mode in a game should be, especially in sports titles, be about choice. Choice is the defining factor in how you play your career. It's a career mode. You don't want to get st stuck in a story where you don't have any say in what happens, unless you're in a rivalry at least anyway. But when it comes to a my career where you're able to go in and say, hey, I'm going to join this division if I can. I'm going to ask if I can join this division. I'm going to try and chase for this title. And you're going to make these decisions. You're going to fight people out the back. You're going to have to ask the big wigs. You're going to have to ask Tony Khan. You're going to have to ask Vince McMahon. You're going to have to ask Triple H. You're going to have to ask anybody to get the shots that you need for these opportunities. That's a real my career. And adding those RPG elements in upgrading your stats, going and working out to train yourself, learning new moves and everything like that. I really think that something akin to the NBA 2K series is kind of on the right level. I mean, not with the microtransactions, of course, because you're asking for trouble if you put them in a wrestling game. I am not saying anything bad, but we, we generally don't like paying out for microtransactions. I don't think anybody does, but I think generally the wrestling community are even more against it. But that's, that's another thing, right? So let's stay away from those and go with a nice RPG simulation career mode. Let's get in and delve in and give me and everybody else some actual ability to make choices in the game. Choices that reflect how we would play and how it would matter to us. Maybe some of us don't want to go for the World Heavyweight Championship every time. Maybe some of us just want to be known as the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. Maybe some of us just want to be the best cruiserweight there's ever been. Some of us may want to take the mantle of the king of the cruiserweights again. Maybe some of us just want to hold that TNT title longer than anybody else. Or maybe some of us want to beat Kenny Omega and take away that AEW championship. It could be any of them. Maybe some people just want to be tag team specialists. But let me choose. It is my career. Mine. Online leagues. Uh, now, when I say online leagues, um, I really mean things like shared universes. Um, online has to be completely revamped and rebooted anyway because the whole thing is just not really working because it's kind of hell for everybody at the moment. And that's just the way that it is. A shared universal GM mode would be incredibly interesting, especially for longevity online. And you'd be able to play with your friends, make the decisions. And if it were the case, I personally would say you'd be able to invite your friends online to come into your own private universe and play the matches with you. So you, you may not be able to have like a shared one online if that's the case, but maybe being able to invite your friends into your universe so you can play the matches together and see how it pans out. I think that's pretty cool and it's something that's definitely got to be considered. Character momentum. Now, this is a new one um, and it's something that I've been working on for a reboot. Uh, character momentum is something that could potentially be included in the future if somebody listens to me um it could be in future wrestling games and now you may be well saying hey we've had momentum before in wrestling games um you haven't like this this is different i'm not talking about the same kind of momentum i'm not talking about a match momentum i'm talking about character momentum now momentum in this case lies directly with crowd reaction it's something you can manually shift, whether that's like you do with heel or face or any attributes, whether it's going up or down. Um, but you can let it play out depending on how you book them in Universal GM. You know, it's completely one of those nice dynamic systems that you can have manual function over or you can play with yourself. This is up to you. But badly, the momentum goes down and the crowd reaction for them coming out isn't booze because that's a different system. That's heel and face system. It would just be not much of a reaction at all, which is fine. But book them well, and when they come out, they get a hero's reception or a villain's booze. It's just how it should be. We should be getting big reactions for people who have big momentum, who are carrying a lot of heat. You know, we should be getting these sorts of reactions in these games. Um, imagine having a momentum meter filled, and the wrestler that you're playing as, or that you have booked in your universe mode, gets injured. Fast forward a few months later, 
and it's the Royal Rumble, say for instance. Now this character who has been injured is making a comeback. The crowd obviously wouldn't know because it's not. It's it's one of those things that you know the Royal Rumble. Um, you it, really, you're not going to expect it, but the crowd is going to blow the roof off because your momentum meter is still super high. It's the Royal Rumble. He's probably going to be number thirty. You know he's going to come back and he's going to lay waste to everybody. These are the sorts of things that the momentum meter would have an impact on crowd reaction because let's face it crowds are super important which is why it is also in this list as number one crowds crowds are a huge part of wrestling and the emotion of the crowd the near falls i mean the returns the debuts the shock the awe the joy the despair every huge moment that you can probably remember as a fan of wrestling um, has, is, that's been amazing, that's really stood out to you, has been received by a live crowd. The shock of the crowd when The Undertaker's streak was broken, when Edge came back at the Royal Rumble, and when AJ Styles debuted at the Royal Rumble as well. I mean, obviously, not that we got to see that, thanks Kevin Dunn. It's what producer mode is for, so we see things like this. Um, <laughs> Every death-defying big move, every backstab, every chair shot, heel turn, every face overcoming adversity, uh, none of it has been without a crowd. And crowds in wrestling, in his wrestling games, need to get better. They need to show the excitement. They need to be showing the shock when they have near falls. They need to boo when the face gets cheated out of the title opportunity. Crowds are where you'll be immersed as a player. Especially when it comes to wrestling games like this. I mean, if you hit your opponent with your finisher, it's all but a certainty. You've been going for 15 minutes trying to beat this guy and you finally connect with that finisher and you cover him for a 2.9 count. There should be a camera cut to the character that you're playing's face. He's completely in shock about the fact that this guy has just kicked out. But not only that, there should be a camera cut to the crowd who are equally as shocked, who are completely surprised by the fact that this guy just kicked out of your finisher and they have no idea how he's done it at the last dying minute. This sort of thing should be in the game. Crowds are incredibly important to immersive gameplay. FIFA does it. FIFA, you score a goal cuts to the crowd sometimes and you see them celebrating they're well happy these are the sort of things that we should see in wrestling games you win a championship your character goes out and celebrates and the crowd's going nuts and hugging you and patting you and and ruffling your hair and trying to touch you in the championship these are the sorts of things we should be seeing with the crowd we need that immersion because the crowd is as much a part of the show as the wrestlers themselves and that was 10 ways to make the ultimate wrestling game of course this is only 10 there are many many more ways to make the ultimate wrestling game so go down below into the comments and tell me how you would make the ultimate wrestling game what other things would you add to this list that would make the ultimate wrestling game let me know down below in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe for more WWE and wrestling gaming content as we do it. We've got another reboot coming in the works. My career is slowly getting there. It's been on a bit of a hiatus over Christmas, but we've got more ideas coming in. There is a lot more to come, so don't worry. And, uh, you know, I will catch you guys in the next video.